All right, so I'm awkwardly leaning on the couch because my hair is a disaster. Today, I would like to finish everything that I have assigned for week eight for my philosophies and theories of learning course for my education. Mm -hmm. I have like four or five chapters to read in the textbook and then a discussion board post to write. And then one thing I do have to do is respond to two other discussion board posts. I would really like to get to that so that I can be done with these courses. And then I learned that I have all of next week off from school. And then I'd also have, you know, the next four days, which I'll be working, but I would have all that time off and just be and done. Be able to move on to gate two. So with that, I am going to try to get into some reading. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because I obviously want to get it done, but at the same time, I want to learn from it. It's not as crucial that I like learn every detail. I just need to kind of read through it and know what it says, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, I look like an alien from this angle. <laughs> I just didn't want you guys to see my really crazy hair. Like that's not even the worst of it. It's just, it needs help. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go work on that. Just working on reading. I don't have too too much left. Maybe like half of it left to read. One, two, three, four other chapters, a couple videos to watch, and a discussion board to do. Really, really, really wanted to finish this class today. I don't know if I'm gonna have time, but it'll be okay. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I filmed anything, but I was planning to start back my vlog today. That is mainly because I have a lot of work to get done. Stayed up really late last night working on a paper that I had for one of my classes, trying to catch up in that. And then this morning I had teaching and it was wild and crazy and awesome and fun. And I'm so glad that I got to have that. And now I gave myself an hour and a half since whenever I got back to just like rest and process and eat, do all that stuff. And now it is time for getting back to my assignments. So the three things I wanna get done today, if possible, I have a discussion board about behavior management, which I feel like that's perfect timing because I can talk about what I experienced today um, and how I try to keep behavior on track even when things are crazy and I have to do a quiz and then I need to work on a lesson plan so for those who are not aware I'm doing a master's in teaching focusing on elementary education and getting my initial licensure so that's what we're gonna do today I'm probably just gonna sit here not at the desk because I just feel like it I'm in the process of like getting things reorganized and so we're just gonna stay here Okay, so I just did my discussion board, kind of went overboard. It was only supposed to be 300 words and I wrote like 800. I really don't like when people do that, but I couldn't just like cram everything into a couple of words. So 
I did that. I responded to other people's and now I need to take a quick break and get ready for a quiz. It's 25 questions, no time limit. You may use your textbook and notes. Thank goodness. So I'm going to take a break and then I'll do the 25 question quiz. I'll probably actually review my book really fast before I do that. After that, I'm thinking about going to the gym. I'm not sure yet. I want to go at some point, but I also want to get my lesson plan done. So I might do this quiz, look into my lesson plan, think about it a little bit, and then go to the gym so I can let it process in my head. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. Okay, I'm going to spend a few minutes reviewing those chapters. Then I'm going to take the quiz. Okay, so I'm just working on my lesson plan on some of the basic, I've done the standards of learning and some of the basic background information. I need to do learning objectives, language demands, assessments, expectations, character education, stuff that will help. And then I need to write the actual lesson. Whatever. Okay, hey guys, I literally spent all of the time today that I had designated for working on my assignments to that lesson plan. Now, in fairness, I am totally a lesson planning nerd, so I just get really into it, and I love all the activities and the, the resources and all the stuff I find. It's really fun, but I probably shouldn't have spent the whole day on it. So, lesson learned. <laughs> But um, now I'm officially done with week two of classes. Mind you, today starts week four. So I have a whole two weeks worth of work to do this week before Friday. So this is going to be fun. Very, very fun. I want to take a look and see what I need to do for my one class set. I have not worked on since, well, yesterday. I need to read the chapter, I need to watch a video, I need to explore some websites like the CEC and look into special education and stuff. I have to interview someone, I think it's a parent or a teacher in special education. I have to write a paper and then that'll be done with week three. Then this week, I'm supposed to read two more chapters, some articles, watch some videos and lectures, write another paper. I have a paper due every week in this class, which is kind of overwhelming, but it is what it is. And I have another quiz. That class kind of stresses me out. Like, it's a little bit intense. So then in the class that I just did my lesson plan for... I need to read two more chapters, watch a video, do another discussion board. I have to go to a local school and observe, so I need to schedule that. Or this week I need to read two more chapters, watch another video, do another discussion board post, and then do a case study. But that is the week ahead. Only like eight chapters to read at least five or six videos to watch, exploring, test prep, registering for the test, observations, I think two papers, two discussion board posts, and a case study. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning. I'm getting ready to get started on work. I think today's gonna be largely a reading day because I have a bunch of textbook reading to do and I, I wanna make sure that I'm really focused on it. Didn't do as well as I thought I could on my last quiz that I did on Sunday. I got like an 80% and that's not cool with me. So I need to apparently focus even more on this particular assignment. 
so that I can do what better hopefully so I just have like several chapters to read every chapter is like 20 30 pages so I'm figuring today is going to be mostly reading and I'm going to try to make it interesting there's not going to be that much filming because it's going to be the same thing over and over again Just an update. You know how yesterday I did my lesson plan? And this may have been in the last video. Um, but I did my lesson plan all day yesterday. Well, today I got the feedback from it. And I was like reading through all the stuff that my professor sent and watching the videos and all the stuff. And then I went to read for my other class. And what we're reading about is how to plan a lesson and basically all the stuff that my other professor sent me um and it's just weird timing i guess but i didn't think that i could handle two classes at the same time and i know for a fact i would not have been able to while working so i guess technically i should have had this stuff already but it's just kind of funny that i did my lesson plan got my feedback and then the next assignment i had to work on was learning how to write a lesson plan in another class so I guess that makes sense and I just need to be really, really careful about that other class and just be aware that I don't necessarily have the background I need, but it'll be all good. It's fun. As long as I do well and I learn this stuff and don't fail, then we're all good. I just did reading a section since my lunch break and now I'm going to do a quick Vlogilates video. I do plan to go to the gym later. I'm gonna do that and then get back to reading. Okay, so I just finally finished reading that one chapter about lesson planning and all the things that, all the technical things that go into an official lesson plan, like for a degree program. Um, my hair's a mess because I've been messing with it. Next, I need to go on and see what I have to read for my other class. I did like the overviews for both of my classes just to see like what the modules for each are about. And then I read this chapter on lesson planning and all the technical technicalities that go into it. Now let's see what I need to do for my other class. Okay, so next thing I need to do for this class is read a chapter for behavior modification. These chapters differ in length. Some are not that long and some take a while to read. So I'm gonna get some water first and then I'm gonna come back and read this. This probably will be the last thing that I get to do today because reading takes me forever. Like, I just, I don't know why. It just takes me so long. Maybe I'll be able to read this chapter and then watch one of my lectures. I don't know. We'll see. My goal is to work until 6 p.m. and then go to the gym and then do some work on a video of some sort. <laughs> I would like to finish my Mel Robbins video, which is on a different channel that I have. I don't know. I don't know. 
we'll see what happens. But I need to get some water and read this chapter. Let's see what it's about first. Yeah, so the theme for this module that I'm working on in this class is all about charting behavior. So I guess I'm about to learn effective ways of doing that. So I guess I'm gonna learn some effective ways of charting and recording behavior for effective behavior management. Water, then reading, let's do this. Good morning guys, I have not updated you in two days. Yesterday, I was actually dressed looking decent and had a productive day, but I didn't film any of it. So I'm just gonna quickly tell you guys what I did. I don't have my planner that I wrote everything down, but I got done a bunch of the small assignments for week three, and then I did a discussion board post, contacted school about my observation and interviews, handled some life matters. I watched the videos and did some exploration and stuff like that. All afternoon I had guardian ad litem family court. I'm a guardian ad litem so I was sitting in on that in case they covered our case which they did not um, but I like to listen and learn from it so because I'm also a lawyer not just a teacher so I like both sides of it and then I went to the gym and did a really good arm workout. I'm super sore, at least I was when I first woke up. I feel a little better now. And now here we are today. I'm gonna get ready to do the replies on the discussion board that I did yesterday. So I wanna, usually, usually I like to do them together. So I wanna reread my discussion board and just kind of remember my main points and then respond to theirs. They're really not that hard because they're only a hundred words and you're responding to what other people said, so it's not. Then after that, I need to get started on a paper that I don't even know what it's about, so let's find out. <laughs> Understanding special education. So let's just look at the instructions. Sections I have to talk about include laws, services, models. That's pretty much it. So it's a 1,000 word paper. I have to talk about why special education is necessary in schools according to the Bible and also include laws and services and models and all that stuff so that'll be interesting. I really don't know much about special education because I've always done like general teaching classes at church and in schools and stuff like that but I've never done special education. I did in high school serve as like a babysitter for the local family support network which is basically like parents of kids with special needs so i would like watch their kids while they were in the meetings but other than that i really know nothing about it so on that note i'm gonna go do my replies and get started on this paper and hopefully hear back about my observations and my observation and interview requests and if i don't hear back and I'm gonna have to send the same request to some other schools because I have to get that stuff done. So, wish me luck. <laughs> 